Hi, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a video on a service, and, service and lubrication of this Daiwa Goldcast 2 508RL. This is a spin cast reel. This is made in Japan. It's probably from the, uh, I would say it's from early to mid 80s. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best spin cast reels you can buy. So I'm going to sh show you how to keep it running for, for years to come. So the first step is to remove the front cover and it just screws off. Like so. so. This reel has a nice hard plastic line brake. Um, pickup pin has a roller, which is nice. The spool oscillates. Camber set up here. You can see that or not. You can probably see it better in a, in a second. So, first step is to loosen the drag all the way. You just turn this knob all the way to the right. That's how it's loose as setting. So, why, by the way, what you need to uh, service your reel, you need some reel grease. You use pen pre precision reel grease. You need some reel oil. This is a Daiwa real oil. It has a nice needle applicator tip. You'll need a brush for putting on your grease. Some cotton swabs. A steel brush. Mini screwdriver. Probably need a bigger screwdriver. This Craftsman screwdriver is really good. Perfect size for reels. Okay, let's get started. So the first step, get the cover removed. And we take this screw right here. Unscrew that. comes off. See so spinner your uh, spinner cone comes off. Here's a look at it. Just lay this to the side. Now you have a clip right here. So just pry that off. Put that aside. Now you can remove your spool. So you have a metal drag washer right here and a Teflon one underneath it. And on this side, here's your spool. And on bottom, you have another Teflon washer. It's a little metal washer with tabs on it. And this is your drag. This is a bent washer, this is for your drag. So as you can see now, the spool moves up and down. This is what this is the mechanism for the spool. And that really makes a huge difference because your line lays on way better. And with traditional spin cast, you get a lot of uh, your line digs in to the spool a lot, so it kind of gets bound up. Now take your handle off. Just take off this handle can go on either left or right side. You see, it's on this little plastic cap here. And there's a screw right here. We'll just take that one off. Now your hand looks slides off. Slides off. Now to get the main body out, you have three screws. So this is your anti-reverse lever, so just turn this off so you can see the screw. So you have three screws, and it's a small, I'm using a small micro Phillips driver. This one is longer, it has to go through the handle, or the push button. You have a screw right here.
Let's screw right here. So at this point it's been pretty basic. This is not a really complicated reel, but I encourage you to take take a picture along the way so you don't get messed up. So now it just comes off. So here's your anti-reverse spring, how that's set up. Here's your anti-reverse dog. There, let's set that aside. So the first thing you have is a bearing. And that bearing is not original to the reel. That's the one I added. It's usually a bushing. There's a bushing on the other side, I'll show you. Next. Next you have a little brass shim washer. It's kind of pain to get off sometimes, but. Okay, so I'll fill it. So first was your brass washer, and you had this. This is for your anti-reverse. And you have this bigger brass washer. That's the pin for your cross wind block. Here's your main gear with the bushing on the back. Now this bushing right here, the original is the one on both sides. Remember I said there was a bearing I took off first? Well, I just replaced the bearing, replaced one of these bushings with a bearing, so yours probably would have two of these bushings instead of a bearing and a bushing and it would probably maybe plastic or maybe metal depending on how old it is so next we're going to take out this section and this is for your uh, oscillation it's just plastic it has an arm right here this goes to your drag and this one goes to your cross line block so you're probably wondering how to get your pinion gear out. There's a bearing on there. So sometimes there's an e-clip right here that you have to take out and you can slide the whole thing out. But this one doesn't have an e-clip. The spring is sort of just pressed in there. So if you try to get that off you're just going to mess it up. So what you can do is grab a rag You can wrap it around this piece right here. Grab some voice grips. And hopefully you can twist it off. The mine is on her really tight. And I'm not going to uh, try to get it off because I don't want to mar up the surface. So you probably don't have to. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you absolutely have to. This bearing is good. I just serviced this for a little while ago anyway. This bearing is good here, so I'm just going to put some oil, a few drops of oil on the bearing. And my oil just broke. Oh well. And take some real grease. Just put a little bit of grease on your main gear here. You don't need much, just a tiny bit. And I'd recommend fishing real grease. I wouldn't use Vaseline or like automotive or marine grease, it's just way too thick. It would dry out. So we'll take our main gear shaft. And the bushing. Bushing goes on here. A little bit of grease on the teeth. Not much at all. Very light coating. So 
I put this back in like that. And now, the cross wine pin. This can go back on now. So you just have to fit it in. And it can be kind of tricky. You have to get a few different things lined up. Yeah, this is probably the trickiest part. Let's go take it off camera for a minute. Okay, it's in. So now you take your cross wine arm, push this piece in. And this is offset right here, so you just get over this pin that's sticking out. And then you probably have to move your gear. That's on the pin. And you have to move your gear to get it set over. So now it's on there like that. And comes that large brass washer. And that piece, and the shim washer, then your bearing. Bearing requires a little bit of oil. It's just like that. And your cover can go back on. Push button. Take your three screws. Remember the longest screw goes on top through the handle. Two short screws right here. Just tighten all those down. And I apologize if I'm not in frame all the time. I'm doing this outside and I don't really have a good tripod. I'm just using like a neck mount to have it set up. So now you can put your handle back on either side. Come over the handle screw. It has a little plastic insert right here. So this goes in. Tighten this up. Screwdriver. The screwdriver is great because it's perfect size for uh, most of these uh, larger screws. You don't want to use a tiny small screwdriver on a wide slot. You'll just bugger it up, mess it up. So make sure you have a proper screwdriver. Then you put your handle cap back on. And just give it a few turns. Make your reverse is working perfectly. Okay, so now we start to put the drag back together. It's a little plastic knob right here, and the hole for this piece goes over that, like so. This piece just goes on.
And here are the two tabs go on each side of that, of not touching. And you put a Teflon washer on. These washers are Teflon type of plastic, it needs no, needs no lubrication, self lubricating. And your spool goes on. And the last Teflon washer and the metal washer. And you take your clip. Slide it back on. Use the screwdriver if you need to clip it in place. And uh, yeah, I'll show you like you can see like the way the spool um, oscillates here. You probably see that pretty good now. That's why that's why it makes this reel really really good. It's not your average pin cast reel. I've used used these for years, different brands, different types. This is my all-time favorite. It's been trouble-free for years. So you can tighten the drag right here. And then you put your spinner cover back on. You put a little bit of grease inside there if you want around the pin. So it just goes back on like this. Take your nut, the screwdriver again, and when you put your cover on, push your button to retract the pin so your cover goes on easily. Give it a wipe, and that's it. Pretty easy. So again, it's a Gaiwa Goldcast 508 RL. Awesome reel. Um, gear ratio is 4, 1.4 to 1, 4.1 to 1. High speed ball bearing has one ball bearing, though it has two because I added them. Holds. Um, 105 yards, 6 pound line, uh, 75 yards of 8 pound line. Awesome reel. So like I said, I'm outside today. Just near the ocean here. Beautiful day. Oh, not a beautiful day. Overcast. A little bit of rain. Still, not bad. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.